The action against trafficking in persons and smuggling of migrants in Nigeria, ATIPS in Nigeria has concluded its two-day workshop on the creation of awareness on trafficking in persons. The workshop, which is funded by the European Union and implemented by the Spanish Public Foundation, FIAP, had in participation social media handlers from key agencies in the fight against human trafficking. Information and communication technology has changed rapidly over the past 20 years, with a key development being the emergence of social media. The place of social media as a veritable tool for societal change cannot be downplayed considering its disability to shape public opinions positively or negatively. It is against the foregoing that this workshop was organized to boost the efforts of the federal government in addressing the ills of trafficking in persons and smuggling of migrants. As an agency, it is our duty to use our social media platforms to engage the general public on the tactics being used by these evil humans. We must do everything possible to protect our young ones from being praised to this traffickers. Nothing has been able to successfully clamp down human traffickers who use social media as a tool in recruiting victims into a world of labor and sexual exploitation. These traffickers were trapped in collaboration with the intelligence community based on information sharing. As an agency, we are poised to enlighten these youths and other potential victims on the dangers involved in being law for, for recruiting job lovers that seems too good to be true. Other speakers owned up to the difficulty of the tax at hand, but expressed confidence that with the focal role of the media, the end of human trafficking is in sight. Before now, uh, not many people will be able to tell you what is trafficking, what is TIP, for instance. Even some will tell you they don't know what is NAPTI. You imagine driving on the road and you see police say, I have a NAPTI tag, they say they don't know what is NAPTI. NAPTI. But this time around, because we are collaborating with all the relevant agencies, including Nigerian Police Force, Nigerian Immigration Service, and the civil society organizations, so everybody is getting to know. We have discovered over time that social media is a platform they utilize to uh, traffic and smuggle our young guys and girls in and out of the Remember, as the media, you are the world dog of the society. Part of your duties, apart from creating awareness, is also to hold us accountable, to also hold the government accountable, to also help the communities to ask questions. To help. Participants at the event bore their minds on how informed they have become and the effects in the long run. Before today, I never give or gave the social media much with respect to being instrumental or a good tool, valuable tool, to disseminate uh, on the dangers of uh, irregular migration, particularly TIP and SOB. But for today, from what I have heard, what I've learned, the lessons learned in this program today, I think we have much to do. There were things we knew but may have forgotten over time that we have been reminded of now. And uh, there are expectations from this arrangement that we need to look at what we are doing. Because social media is a new age. And um, what drives information mechanism now is the social media. And because it's spontaneous, it's fast, it's transient, and people relate with it very freely and easily. And so that has enhanced me now knowing fully well that traditional media does good jobs. But if you needed to disseminate information fastly, and quite uh, uh, with very quick response, the social media is the best option. Nigeria has at various times come under the spotlight as a breeding ground for human trafficking and smuggling of migrants, a narrative which doesn't bode well for a country at the forefront of human rights advocacy. It is being suggested that addressing the ills of human trafficking requires a concerted effort, and this social media workshop is one among many.